We have Senator Zach Frazier. Questions for Zach? Go ahead, Drake. So, Zach, game week. I mean, does anticipation kick up? I mean, you've been doing this a while. Do, do, do you still get excited game week? Obviously, game day, I assume. Yeah, um, I'm tired of hitting our own people, so uh, it's definitely exciting. And, uh, you know, now that this week has started, it's it's real now, so it's it's really exciting. I'm, I'm excited for this weekend. How much you know about Penn State? I mean, you grew up in this area, um, never played them. Obviously, it's not the same deal as a backyard brawl, but Penn State's kind of Penn State around here, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of a regional uh, rivalry. I guess it was an old rivalry, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, I grew up kind of watching them uh, from afar. Not, not really like a big fan. I was always a West Virginia fan, obviously. But yeah. What, what, what's some of your memories of Penn State? What do you remember about? Them? Um, really, just watching night games and whiteouts like we're about to play in. So uh, that's definitely going to be exciting. You know, growing up watching those games as a kid and then getting to finally play in it. Give me a scouting report on Penn State. What have you seen on film? Uh, it's a very fast defense. Uh, they move a lot. They're very athletic. You say move a lot. They stem, or they do? Did they just not where they're supposed to be, or what do you mean by move? Yeah, the like D line. They 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 do a really good job of slanting and getting vertical. A lot of like uh, movement. Can you compare them to maybe a, a defense that you face in the Big Twelve? Um. We kind of uh, compared them to uh, like Dante and Darius, like how they were okay. real athletic and uh, can like jump gaps and get vertical. So that's kind of like what we uh, like view them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So more has that changed for you when you play four, even rather than Um, it, it doesn't really change too much. It's just. Uh, we have a different set of rules for four down and three down, so um, it's just just knowing those rules. Is it difficult to get to the second level and get to the linebackers from what you've seen with the way they play their scheme? Um, I don't think it's too different. I mean, they do they can run well, so um, that might be the only difference is they have some athletic uh, backers, so. Um, I don't know if I can generalize like the the whole. Uh, well, I would say that I mean this is a four down front. I would say in you know the Big Twelve we get more odd fronts, so maybe it, I th I think that's more of a staple of the Big Ten is they play a lot of four down fronts. So I would say that. Chop Robinson, obviously you played him when he was at Maryland. Do you remember anything about going up? Obviously he plays at the end in a different position, but do you remember him at all when he played Maryland? Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, it was a, there he was a good D in there, and he's obviously uh, gotten a lot better. So um, it's going to be a good challenge for us, and uh, we're excited for it. Make life a little easier on you with four down front and not having someone on your head? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big crowd, big stadium. You, I mean, maybe the biggest you played in front of, but does it matter when you 60,000 loud people or 100,000? What size of stadium does it matter to you? Um, no, I would say, uh, the, but the, it, it doesn't really matter, but the crowd noise does. Like, uh, I think we played Texas last year. They had over 100,000, but it wasn't super loud. Um, but from what I've what I've heard, this is going to be a loud game, and uh, the biggest thing with that is just communication. Um, you know, with each other when you can't hear the person next to you. So that's that's what I'd say the biggest challenge is for that. Can you prepare for that? I mean, you know, last week talked about playing music loud at practice. Yeah, yeah. We we uh, just got done with uh, we did both scout periods in uh, the indoor, and we had I think every speaker we have blasting music. So. Um, it was similar. It probably still wasn't as loud as it's going to be, but um, but it was pretty good still because um, still kind of hard to hear the person next to you, but you still hear them. But uh, yeah, it was it was good practice. Outside of pumping in music, though, you're like say unlike last year with JT, you're you're going in with a quarterback that's not experienced this type of environment before. Is there anything that you can 
say or do besides just pumping in music? Because I'm sure that can't be enough to simulate what they're going to deal with. Yeah. The cues are wrong. That can ruin the whole um, I would say, uh, you know, we're just doing, you know, the best we can to simulate it, but it's definitely not going to be exactly what it's like. Um, Does it in any way almost become a little bit of like your approach in during the game a little bit because they haven't done this before? Um, I would just say I'm just going to try to, you know, keep them level-headed and, you know, just keep them calm and, you know, that it's okay. This is what happens. Like, um, just not going to let them get uh, – just keep them in check kind of. What are your keys? What do you have to remind yourself when you're playing in a loud environment like that? Like to over-communicate, make sure uh, – Not over-communicating me? No. Over-communicating. Uh, yeah, like be loud, uh, obviously, and loud. Uh, like if I tell something to the guard, the guard's got to turn to the tackle, tell the guard what I said. Um, just kind of make sure we're all on the same page. Okay. The uh, quarterback doesn't give you a verbal snap count, does he? Um, so, uh, sometimes. It's, uh, you, could go, you could go even if you had your plugs in or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we uh, sometimes go on the clap. So. And that's, that's normally easier to hear in. Loud stadium. And, uh, different subject. Uh, what's an upset? What makes an upset? Why is why is some well, every year some team that's unranked beats another seven team in the country? What, what, how does that happen? Um, I think it was. I think it's just from uh, doing our job and you know executing our game plan and uh, just carrying out uh, what we planned and uh, can't have errors. Um, errors will, will uh, kill us. So as long as we play a pretty sound football game, I think that's how uh, how how uh, upsets are executed. Zach, give me evaluation of the line how you perform in camp. Uh, our offense line. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I think we uh, made a, a big step um, from last year. Um, we've all kind of focused on you know, what our weaknesses are and what, what we haven't been good on the past and trying to, you know, get better at that and knowing situations and knowing, uh, like, in certain looks how we can set differently and sometimes set firmer, sometimes set deeper, you know, knowing the down and distance when, uh, you know, if it's more of a pass down where there's more twists and pressures, uh, just, you know, communicating to pass those off, stuff like that. In Sportico, I think it was last week, maybe, where they're talking about the television audience for this game could be off the charts big um, because it's prime time, MB NBC, whatnot. Plus, you could be playing possibly for a record crowd there. Have you guys talked about that? The opportunity that you could showcase Mountaineer football, not just in front of a lot of people, but a lot of eyeballs on television? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what you live for. I mean, that's uh, that's going to be exciting. I mean, I'm, I can't wait. I'm pumped up. Uh, but, you know, a night game, uh, primetime television, I mean, that's as big as it gets. So definitely excited for that. So when you say exciting for you, you don't seem like a guy that gets super jacked up. So what's exciting for you? Can you – do you sleep okay? What, what, yeah. What are yeah. your problems for you when you get excited? Yeah, I, I, I sleep okay. I'm just, I'm just excited to, you know, get the first hit out of the way and – you know, just get out there and play. I really enjoy it, so. You think some of the games that you played at Oklahoma a few years ago, Texas has kind of prepared you for this environment you're going in? Um, I feel like it helps. Just it's not like uh, not the first time we're going to be in a loud, uh, you know, stadium. I think being kind of used to it, it definitely helps. Uh, whereas before, like my first time playing in it, it was definitely different. What did you learn from that? Part again, uh, What's that? Let me go back to the upset uh, idea. Uh, would you rather be, be an underdog than, than go into a game favorite? Yeah, I, I like being an underdog. I think, uh, you know, I like when people doubt us. I think that, that kind of, you know, fuels me at least. When someone says I can't do something, that makes me want to do it. So that's just kind of how I am. What did you learn from the other games that you, uh, that you played in those environments? What did you take from it? Um, I would say like uh, some of the louder games I played earlier in my career, we kind of 
changed how we do the snap count a little bit just because, uh, you know, focus more on the clap, stuff like that. Um, just because it is harder to hear, uh, like, the quarterback's voice and stuff like that. I think of the Oklahoma game where the guys were barking out the signals and yeah. some of that stuff too. I mean, obviously things that you've nev never experienced before, just learning things, right? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely helps. I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, once you experience it, uh, you're a lot better. But.